Okay, my name's Steve Hendricks. I've been visiting the Hickory Ridge for a few weeks now, and I just kind of like to share my testimony and what Jesus has done in my life. I was raised from about age 9 to 18 in church, and I always blocked it out because growing up, I always wanted that tough guy image, wanted to be cool. I always had the attitude that Christians were wimps. They used it for a crutch. Everything I ever did, I got involved in it 200% because there was always an empty void that I was always trying to fill. Never worked, but I always tried to fill it. In my adult years, I started becoming more and more rebellious. I always blamed everything on everybody else, everything else. It was never me. It was always something else. In my late 20s, I got involved heavily with a white supremacy movement. Um, there was a major Ku Klux Klan organization in the U.S. Um, I was misled in believing I was making a Christian stand, and I'm thinking, hey, these guys ain't wimps. This would be cool. Well, just like always, if you don't have Jesus, you're misled. I was led to believe it was a Christian stand, and I found out a whole lot different in just a couple years. Everything in my life started collapsing around me, things that I belonged to, things that I liked. It was all collapsing because of that. Well, like always, it wasn't my fault. It was Christianity's fault. I was trying to serve Christianity, and I thought it ruined me. So um, I then even turned further from God. And later on, I got involved in martial arts and long-distance cycling, once again trying to fill that void. Uh, although the achievements I made, fifth-degree black belt in martial arts, American kickboxing, um, I did quite a few achievements with long-distance cycling. I still had that empty void, and it was never enough. I always had to get more. Um, as I got more rebellious, I become, started becoming enraged at the mention of Christ, church, stuff like that. And even when I was working out, I would find some of the uh, hardest satanic-based rock and roll I could find. It, it, during the workouts, made me feel like Superman, you know. Um, one day I was training for a long distance bike event and lost control of the bike and I got thrown over the handlebars, landed on my head first, smashing my bike helmet. Um, on impact, went numb from the neck down. Well, I'd always believed there was a God, which Satan believes there is a God too. Uh, but at that moment I thought, uh-oh, I'm in real spiritual trouble. I, I, it finally hit me. Luckily, after a few minutes, I thought I'd snap my neck, but after a few minutes, I uh, started getting feeling back to my body, and um, things kind of recovered. All I did was sprain my neck. Well, that kind of got my attention. So, actually, probably that week, I started digging in a little bit to reading, trying to get into the Word of God. Hey, let's see what the real deal has to offer. Well... A few months later, um, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I still have a lot of spiritual battles, uh, some, you know, convictions, but he's making, you know, Jesus is always there, and that's why we need Savior. He also pulled a couple miracles for me instantly, and the first one that I noticed was uh, the church I was attending at the time. At the end of the service, they had an invitation. Eight people walked up. Well, at the end of the service, we go up and congratulate everybody and greet everybody. And I was going down the line, shaking hands with uh, the men, hugging the ladies. And the last person in the line, I come out of eye with a young 18-year-old black girl. And um, the water was running down her face. And I started doing the same thing. Give her a big hug. And as I walked off, I remember looking up at the ceiling, thanking God, hey, he took the, took the hate from me. Just like that. So, guess what? God finally filled that void. Steve didn't do it. 